Hello, this is the second video in the Suricata Rules life hack series. Did you know that there is a simple way to detect malicious encrypted traffic? I'm talking about J3 fingerprints. First, let me explain how technology works. To initiate a secure TLS SSL connection session, the client sends a packet called client hello to the server. The server responds with a packet called server hello. The TLS encryption negotiation is transmitted in clear text. This allows tracking and identifying client applications. TLS fingerprinting technology captures elements of the client hello packet, which remain static from session to session for each client. Based on these elements, a fingerprint is created to identify the client in subsequent sessions. One method of implementing this technology is through J3 and J3S. The J3 fingerprint is generated from values of certain fields in the client hello packet, while J3S is the counterpart generated from values of certain fields in the server hello packet. This is a more effective way of detecting malicious encrypted traffic than using IP or domain names. J3 and J3S fingerprints can be obtained from various feeds and repositories of known malware fingerprints. In these repositories, you can find known hashes for some malware. To use these detection methods, you need to build Suricata with LibNSS support and enable J3 fingerprints in suricata.yml. To calculate these fingerprints in Suricata, you need to specify yes in the corresponding field. By default, this function is disabled. The values of J3 hash and J3 string as well as J3S values, can be found in traffic opened in Wireshark. Let's look at examples of two rules. The first is based on J3 hash. This is a hash of values of certain fields in the client hello packet. The second rule is just a set of values of these fields. We run Suricata on a traffic dump and see hits on the J3 fingerprint. The saved values of J3 hash and J3 string can be found in the if.json log if you scan TLS SSL traffic with Suricata. This log contains all the hits and protocol events on this traffic. You can find it in the TMP Suricata folder. In the next video, I will talk about detection using datasets. Stay tuned. See you.